So Inspire is a tool that empowers you to create, to explore, to study uh, structurally efficient designs. And this, this starts with motion, Inspire Motion. So the actual looking at the dynamics of the model, how does the model react? What are the loads that are generated by the model? In many cases, understanding loads is is uh, is, is hard for for many people. So these types of tools like Inspire Motion really help um, uh, help you figure out what the loading situations are in your model. We can then run optimizations, whether it's a topology optimization or topography optimization. We can generate these designs based on manufacturability constraints, like what you're seeing here: splits, single. Um, overhang constraints. We can build polynerms. So these are these free form surface surfaces. We can generate them right on top of the optimized designs. And they're so fast and easy to, to, to create. From here, if you're looking at possibly a printing simulation, we can go right into print 3D from Inspire. We can orient the part. We can change uh, the supports that may be required. We could slice the part. We can also print the part virtually. So you can see any issues you would have um, either during the printing or cooling phases of your, of, your part to, of your part print. But Inspire can do even more. With the integration of SimSolid, we can now import large, fully featured CAD assemblies and we can uh, run structural simulations and modal simulations. We can also create geometry by sketching using our push-pull and feature modification tools. Once you've made these changes, you can quickly rerun another analysis. But not only can you push, pull, and modify geometry, you can also replace geometry right from your CAD system just by selecting another part and then rerunning the simulation. And there are no smoke and mirrors there. That was the actual time it took to run that simulation, seconds.